Hello, this is Kyle from Kirksville Web Design. Today we're going to dis discuss a frequently asked question about Google Sites. It is, why is my Google Site not being indexed? And why is my Google Site not showing up in search results? So we're going to take a look at those, those questions, a few solutions at a very basic level just to help people with you know, their websites to get them indexed. Maybe just the, at least the uh, home page indexed, maybe a few key pages for them. Uh, now, you know, this is a, a problem that all webmasters will deal with, uh, is how many pages that Google will index uh, of your website. I mean, I don't have a hundred percent, you know, index rate on my website. You know, I have plenty of pages that aren't indexed. Uh, sometimes they come up and they fall off. So it's just kind of a fact of life because it's out of your hands. Um, you know, I can work and I can optimize a page and I can make sure it's as unique and important to me as possible, but you know, it may not get indexed. It may not show up in the search results and it may not rank and all these things. Uh, that's just part of the game that we play with, you know, SEO uh, in general and, you know, being a, a webmaster. So here, you know, I have pulled up a, a example from the Google Sites community. You know, it can appear in the Google Sites help forum. It can be in the Google uh, Facebook group that we have or it can be on, on Reddit. So, you know, people are frustrated because they have these sites that they've put work into and they see after you know a month or two or even I've seen people talk about a whole year go by and Google has not indexed their site so how can we um, at least improve things a little bit and make sure that at the basic level we have you know uh, dotted our I's and crossed our T's and done a little bit of checking here to make sure you know it's optimized okay so let's take this example here I've just started to work on a an example site and you know sometimes profiles and resumes uh, portfolios can appear like this and so for Google for the user I mean any visitor it, it seems basic and for Google it's also basic as well and what are they going to look for uh, first of all is a site title so if we look at this page uh, viewing the published site i have a google chrome extension it's called detailed and it shows me some extra it shows me some information about the web page now the title for this web page is home it's just picking up this page name home so your entire like site title, page title is just home. You can't really get much more generic than that. Uh, Google doesn't have much to work off of there. It is just home. So please don't leave this blank, this site title. Enter, enter a site name. This should be, you know, if it's a profile or portfolio maybe it's your name great your name is new unique even more unique if you add a place in a name or a, a line of work and a name you know if I put in here John Smith Chicago copywriter okay we've got more to go off of we have something more concrete and more unique and more potentially relevant to the user so for Google search, it's a good thing, you know, add a site name. Don't leave that blank. I know maybe you don't like the look of it particularly, but add a site name. Because for the most part, it's going to be site name plus page name is what's going to be generating your title. So we can see that here for the about page, for example, it's just called about, but if we have we'll go ahead and publish this now so we'll try to update the site and you can just see the uh, the effect that has now that we've added a site name here so if we give it a moment it'll update okay so now it's updated 
And now when I'm on the about page and I look at the title, what is it? John Smith, Chicago copywriter about. Um, you could add a little bit more detail here, but I mean, you don't want to stuff this with too many characters or too many keywords. You know, be reasonable. Uh, I guess it wants us to go to 40, between 40 and 60, I think is what we might want us to be at. So, you know, don't, don't stuff it, but uh, keep it pared down and relevant. And, you know, we've already done a large part of that, just adding a site name. Okay, what's next is a, a heading, an H1 heading. This is the most important heading in every page. It should be, maybe it should be the page name or it can be just similar to the page name or something like that. But you know, your, your title is what it's called in, in Google Sites. The title is your H1 heading. So it could be the same as you know, the John Smith, uh, what do you call it, his portfolio or something like that. But at least that's something, you know, we've given it, we have an H1 tag on the page. And then add some more headings, add some H2s, which are headings, or H3s, which are subheadings and add some content and make sure this content is readable, it's understandable, it's not just generated, you know, and that's that's half the battle right there. You've made great strides now in, in making the site appealing uh, to the crawl bots uh, and appealing to users, frankly, I think it's also good. Now we can publish this again. We, we know that the about page, this can be the same way. This is too generic. Um, we need some more detail here. And so, you know, think about these when you're creating those headings, you know, make them relevant, make them important, make them unique. Because what is the question here? Well, uh, let's look at this uh, search result. You know, I thought this was actually quite a good search result on the question why my website isn't on Google search well because of indexing issues so is your web page able to be crawled and indexed from a technical perspective you know uh, just keep in mind this is an option in in Google sites whether you are requesting public search engines to just not display my site so if you have that checked you're telling crawlbots don't crawl my site so make sure this is unchecked Make sure it's unchecked. <laughs> I just want to say that. Okay, so now we've, we've had kind of like the most basic technical thing there. And then poor quality content is a problem. SEO's issues are a problem. So we've done quite a bit of, of, of an upgrade here in just our work here. And you know, I would change this again. I would add copy and titles and bullet points and all these things to improve your content. And that's an SEO thing, and it can get quite detailed. But you know, I'm just trying to combat this at the most basic level, so that people can get their profiles or portfolios or resumes potentially indexed. I hope it helps. I hope you don't have to wait too long. But you know, try to follow this advice, and I think you you will benefit. I know you will benefit. So, thanks a lot for for listening. Thanks uh, for supporting my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.